I almost didn't share this. And I'm being completely serious. Not because it's complicated, not because it's risky, but because almost nobody knows about it. And once you see what it does to your fire stick, you'll understand why people keep it to themselves. Your fire stick has hidden capabilities that Amazon never explains, never promotes, and never shows you in the app store. And today I'm going to show you how to unlock them using a simple secret code that installs a powerful app in just a few minutes. This one app opens the door to movies, TV shows, live sports, pay-per-view events, and live TV channels from all over the world, all inside one clean interface. Stick with me, don't skip ahead, and I'll walk you through the entire setup from start to finish so your Fire Stick actually runs the way it was meant to. And hey, if you're watching this but you don't own a Fire Stick yet, or you're still using a slow or outdated device, check the links in the description. I've listed the best streaming device deals I recommend, and honestly, even better than a Fire Stick. Let's begin. First, go to your home screen and find the magnifying glass icon. Press down, then hit the center button on your remote. This will bring up a keyboard. Now type Downloader. It should pop up in the suggestions. Scroll down, highlight it, and hit the center button. That will take you to the correct app, which is orange. Let's click on it. This will bring up the apps page. Just hit the center button one time and it will start downloading to your device. Wait for it to reach 100%. Be patient. When it's finished, you'll see Launch Now, but do not open it yet. Now that it says Launch Now, press the Home button on your remote. Next, we need to go into your Fire Stick's settings for a crucial change. The fastest way to get there is to slide all the way to the right on your home screen. A menu will appear at the bottom. Slide down, and we're looking for the option that says My Fire TV. If it's an old device, it might say My Device instead. Whatever it's called or wherever it is, that's what we need to hit. Let's hit it together. After you hit in, everyone's screen should look pretty similar. My screen might be slightly different because I already have Developer Options. If you don't see that, no worries. I'll show exactly how to enable it. Just go up and hit About. Then, with your Fire Stick or Fire TV device highlighted, hit the center button on your remote nine times. After you do this, a message will appear that says, You are now a developer. Once you see that, press the back button, and Developer Options will now be on this menu. Okay, let's hit into Developer Options together. The very first thing you'll see is ADB Debugging. Hit the center button once to turn it on. A small box might pop up, just slide down and hit Allow. Next, hit Install Unknown Apps. You might see some apps here. Slide to Downloader, then hit the center button once to turn it on. If you have an older Fire Stick, it might say Apps from Unknown Sources, and you can only turn it on or off. If you see that, just turn it on. Now that we're all set, hit the Home button on your remote. Now we need to find that new Downloader app. The quickest way to view all your apps is to slide almost all the way to the end and hit the icon with three squares and a plus sign. This shows every app you have. The newest apps always appear at the very bottom. Just scroll all the way down, and the very last one you see will be the newest app you added. Let's hit on Downloader together. A small box might pop up. Just hit the center button to get rid of it. This app allows you to visit almost any website. To do that, hit the center button two times, and a keyboard will appear so you can type a web address. Today, I'm going to take us to a special website. I'll display the code on the screen as I type. Be sure to type it exactly the same, or you might get an error. Take your time. Once you have the address typed correctly, hit Go. Let's wait for it to finish. This might take a moment or two. Just be patient. If you see a connection error or a check link message, it means your connection is being blocked. Just turn on your VPN or switch its location and that should fix the problem. As soon as the download is complete, it will ask you to set up the app. Just slide over and hit install. Once the setup is finished, slide over and hit the done button. Hitting done brings us back to the screen. We're going to slide over, hit delete, and one more time, slide over and hit delete. 
I know. All right, everyone, that's everything we needed from the downloader app. Let's hit the home button. Next, we need to go back into your settings and change one more thing. Remember, the easiest way to get to your settings is to slide all the way to the end. Then, once again, hit the center button on My Fire TV or My Device. After that, click on Developer Options and go into Install Unknown Apps. This time, you'll see Unlin has appeared on the list. Just scroll down until Unlin is highlighted, and just like before, press the center button once to make sure Unlin is turned on. Now that everything's done, hit the home button one more time. We need to find that new Unlin app. Remember, just slide over and hit the icon with three squares and a plus sign. Scroll to the very bottom, and right there is the new Unlin app we just added. Let's open it together. The first thing it asks for is a new library. Hit the center button on your remote two times like that. Another keyboard will pop up asking for the library code. Folks, I created my own unique app store giving access only to my viewers and followers. I worked hard to fill my store with only the best, newest apps. All I ask for my effort, keeping the apps up to date, creating this video and answering your questions is that you hit the subscribe button. That simple action tells me thank you for giving all of this away for free. And a huge thank you to all my viewers who are already following me. Now that you're a follower, go ahead and type this code. Make sure to take your time. It must be written exactly the same, or you might get an error. If I'm going too fast, just pause the video. Once you have that code typed correctly, hit next and give it a moment to load. Everyone, welcome to my special app store. I've packed it with 85 incredible apps for free on-demand content, sports, live TV, spicy content, and so much more. A lot of people ask for my favorites, and my top recommendations for cutting the cord are right here in the welcome message. It highlights the absolute best apps I recommend. And honestly, if you only install these, you won't need anything else. Also, many of you ask why a VPN is so important with these apps. I've included a short message here, so please take a moment to read all the info on the welcome screen. After you've read everything, hit the center button on your remote three times. This will group my store for you. Slide up and down to see different groups or right and left for apps. Today, I'll show a few apps, how the store works, how to add apps, and how to start enjoying your free entertainment. Now scroll all the way down through the categories until you find category number 15. Great YouTube examples. So the first app I want to download here is IP Vanish VPN. It's my top pick for keeping everyone safe and private while using all these great apps. Some people have trouble downloading or even using apps because their internet provider blocks them. With IP Vanish VPN, you stay completely secure and can bypass any restrictions your internet company puts on you and all of your devices. To download IP Vanish VPN, highlight it and press Download. Let it reach 100%. This may take a moment depending on your internet speed. Once it's finished, a menu will pop up automatically. Just press the center button on Install. You'll be taken to the installation screen. Slide over to the Install button again and press the center button. It will now go through the installation process, and once it completes, you'll be brought back to the screen where you can install more apps. But before we continue, we must turn the VPN on. This part is crucial. Press the Home button, navigate to the icon with the three boxes and the plus sign, scroll all the way to the bottom, and select the IP Vanish logo to launch the app. Now you can log in. Don't have an account yet? Well, I'll make it incredibly simple for you to get one so you can browse without worry and unlock all those fantastic apps. First, grab your phone or computer and open your internet browser. Go to the website on the screen now. You can also point your camera at the QR code in the corner to go right there. I'll also include the website link in the description and comments below. Next, pick your plan. You can even choose just one month to try it out and see the difference for yourself. After you get it, they'll send an email with your unique username and password. Now, log into the IP Vanish app and hit Connect. I also want to show a couple of settings. Hit the gear icon on the IP Vanish app. A menu will appear. I've highlighted Connect on Android Startup and Auto Connect on IP Vanish Launch. 
If I hit the center button and turn these on, you won't have to worry about manually turning your VPN on every time you power up. The VPN will connect automatically, so you won't have to stop your movie to check if it's on. It'll do it for you. Okay, so now that we're completely safe, let's start grabbing some of these awesome apps. Press the home button and go back to your apps, and once again, open the Unlin application and go back to the same category. Now folks, I want to show the next five apps you should download to get free on-demand content, sports, and live content. You'll find five more apps we can install in this category. It's also super helpful to carefully read the descriptions so you understand what each app is, what it does, and what you need to do. Here's the first one, and honestly my number one recommended app. There is absolutely nothing better than this. You'll see an app name that gives you live content, pay-per-view, and even spicy content. Just click on it, hit download, and wait for it to reach 100%. This might take a moment or two, so just be patient. We'll move on right after. Once it finishes, the install menu will pop up automatically. Hit Install App. You'll be taken to the installation screen. Slide over again and press Install. Give it a moment. Hang tight. It'll be done soon. After that, it'll take us right back into the store so we can grab the next apps. Next, you'll see an app name that gives you all the sports content. Highlight it and hit Download. Here comes the next progress bar. Let it reach 100%. I know, I know. It feels like the same step again, but it won't take long. Once that little box pops up, hit Install App, slide over, and press Install. We're almost done. After that, it'll take us right back into the store again, so we can grab the next app. Alright, for this next part, I'm going to save you some time. Instead of repeating the same download steps again, just go ahead and install the last three apps you see here in category number 15. By now, you already know the process. Highlight the app, hit Download, let it reach 100%, and then press Install App and Install. Just repeat that for all three of them. And just a quick note, one of the apps you just installed for movies and TV shows needs a separate player to work correctly. You'll actually see that mentioned in its title and description, so don't worry. It'll make sense when you use it. So go ahead and get those last three apps installed. And once you're done, we'll move straight into the final steps of the video. Folks, it's that easy! We just installed five awesome apps, but remember, there are 85 apps in my store, so don't limit yourself to the few examples I showed in this video. My absolute top favorites are all in category number one, top apps. Those are the ones I personally use every single day, and honestly, nothing beats the apps in that category. But now that you've downloaded everything you want, let's hit the home button. Because once again, I want to go and find all those apps we just put on. And if you recall from earlier in the video, all you need to do is hit on that icon with three squares and a plus sign. It displays all your apps. So what I want you to do is highlight one of those new apps. Let's do IP Vanish and then hit the three lines button, also known as the menu button, on your remote. A menu will pop up. Hit where it says Move to Front. You'll see the app move from the bottom to the top. Now, hit the home button. From the home screen, where you always start, you'll have easy access to those apps right here. You won't have to search for them. Now, folks, I know that we downloaded some fantastic apps that provide us with free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, and pay-per-view. Before you ever open any of those apps, I always strongly suggest that you turn your VPN on first. I just want to express my sincere thanks to all my followers. It truly means a lot and helps me immensely. I cannot thank you enough for taking time out of your day to help me achieve a goal. I look forward to your comments and seeing you very soon in the next video.